Often, when people see corals, they think they're plants, but they're actually animals. Corals are organisms that live in the sea and form a calcium carbonate skeleton. Inside the skeleton are the living polyps. They're very beautiful, gorgeous animals. Generally, you think of coral in connection with the tropics. But a couple of hundred years ago, corals were found in colder waters in the northeastern Atlantic. We did a trip in the Mediterranean around Sicily and off the coast of Malta. Until recently, we thought there were no living cold water coral reefs left in the Mediterranean, but some live corals had been found, so we wanted to take a closer look. And that's what we did with the help of the German research vessel Meteor. And we found that reefs made up of cold water corals are very widespread. We have a diving robot with various video cameras installed on it, and they can record in detail what kind of animals are there. The diving robot also has two manipulator arms which allow us to get the samples we want. The main thing that interests me is the distribution of the cold water corals. With every expedition, the area where we find them has been growing. I'm also interested in the development of cold water coral reefs. During which geological periods did they live? When did they die out? When did they resettle? I always wanted to study geology. I was very interested in questions such as how the Earth developed or why the continents are positioned the way they are. At some point I ended up in the marine field because this is a region of the Earth that's not completely explored. If you look at the distribution of cold water corals today, you see that off Norway and Ireland there are flourishing, living cold water coral reefs, while in the Gulf of Cadiz basically all you find is coral graveyards. There are no more live corals there today. Of course, we suspect that environmental conditions in the Gulf of Cadiz have changed so that cold water corals simply can't live there. Another problem is pollution. We find so much garbage, cans, bottles, pieces of clothing, old refrigerators. We've found every imaginable kind of rubbish there, which also represents a certain danger to these ecosystems. People who have never been on a trip like this think it's a holiday, but it's not a holiday. You fly to the port, board, set sail, and out at sea it makes no difference what area you're working in, all you see is water and no land. But it's also fun because life on board is so different from the Institute. 